I'm outside because um, my people, we have started school. We've been doing school for about 45 minutes now. Um, and I just wanted to give an, a quick introduction. I didn't plan this day in the life. Today is August 31st. And I'm sure you all have been keeping up with the news and everything that has happened with Hurricane Ida. For those of you who don't know, I'm originally from Southeast Louisiana. So we have all kind of family there. Um, we have family that stayed. We have some that evacuated. And yesterday was just very emotional. Um, so today, to just kind of better help with uh, focus and our day, I just decided, you know what, we'll try a day in the life. I don't do a lot of these types of videos. I'm really not good at them, but um, we're just gonna kind of go for it. Ida, battering the Gulf Coast, making landfall near the port of Fort Sean, Louisiana on Sunday, bringing a flooding storm surge, 150 mile per hour winds, torrential rain, and pounding surf. Okay, let's do our affirmations, please. Ready? Three. Right now, I'm not ready. All right, I'm ready now. Three, two, one, go. I am loved and very valuable because God made me. I praise you for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my soul knows it very well. I want you guys to sing. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. All. restraint or command of authority. Remember how we read the poem about the girl with the umbrella? Oh. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> well, yeah. today I want you to think about this. Appeal respectfully to your parents when you feel strongly that you have a right on your side. And what that means is, listen, you can trust your parents. Wow. Oh, my arm. Wow. That's hot. Okay, let's read through our our question book. Are you ready? Is it the one we're in Missouri? Nope. No, this one end. is from Lance. He lives in Kansas, and Lance is five years old. It Please. says, why did God put the tree in the Garden of Eden if he didn't want Adam and Eve to eat the fruit from it? Genesis 21. Go ahead and turn to Genesis 21. This one's yours. Remember, Pearl, and you're coming up to it. Mm -hmm. David, all right. This one goes... This one goes to the banana, this one goes to the apple, and this one goes to the pineapple. So let's turn to Genesis 21. Genesis 21. Whoever's there first gets a chocolate bar. No, nobody's getting a chocolate bar. Why not? <coughs> David, I want you to read verses 1, 2, and 3. Genesis 21. So you're almost there. And then Annabeth is going to read 4 and 5. So 1, 2, and 3 and 4 and 5? You're going to read 1, yeah, 2, and 3. So give her just a minute. She's almost there. I'm going to read 4 and 5. Oh, we should show them probably. Magic okay, David, go ahead and get started. So, for, for the other so one, two, and three. The Lord was gracious to Sarah, just as he has said he would be. The Lord did for Sarah what he had promised to do. Sarah became pregnant. She had a son, she had a son by Abraham when he was old. The child was born at the exact time God promised. Abraham gave the name... Wait, Abraham gave the name Isaac to the son Sarah had by hand. Can I see your Bible? 
Can I read now? Different. Yeah, so you're on page, I, I mean, verse 4. When his son Isaac was eight days old, Abraham. Abraham. Sorry. Abraham circumcised. Circumcised him. He did it exactly as God had commanded his. Wait. Him. Exactly as God had commanded him. Him. He did it exactly. Abram was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born to him. Oh man, thank you so much. Okay. Sheesh, all it. Yeah, but that was a part of God's promise being fulfilled, right? It says, just as God promised Sarah, just as God promised, Sarah gave birth to a baby boy. Abraham named their son Isaac. The name Isaac means he laughs. God kept his promise and gave Abram and Sarah a son. They named him Isaac. Abraham and Sarah were very old when Isaac was born and did not think it was possible to have a baby so late in life. But we know God keeps his promises and nothing is too hard for him, right? We learned that yesterday when God came to Abraham and Sarah and said, this time next year, you're going to have a baby, right? And what did God say? Nothing is too hard for him. It says we learned when Sarah laughed that we learned yesterday that Sarah laughed when, when she heard God say that she was going to have a baby. Today, we are learning about God fulfilling the promise. It says, God is always faithful to keep his promises, even when we forget our lack of faith. God's promises do not change, even when we sin. Okay, I'm so bad at these day in the life videos. I thought that I was um, filming and I was not. I was just taking a picture. So anyway, I just wanted to real quick kind of show you some things that I've been doing new this year that have really been helping. They're simple, they're small things, but hey, um, it's worth it. Okay, the first thing I wanna share with you is the snack tray, which I really don't have a tray. I just have two plates. But what I have been doing is about 9.30, I've been making a snack tray and I do switch it up every day, but you can see here that this one's already been picked on. Um, I've got pepperonis and cheese and peanuts and tomatoes. And what I do is I put an even amount of all the things and they are able to just come and go. On this other tray, I usually put fruit. Today was the very first day I did take a chocolate bar and cut it in half. Right here I have a caramel cup and then some apples. What I also do is with whatever is left, I put that on their plate for lunch so nothing is wasted. And what I'm really loving about this, y'all, is I'm saving money on my grocery bill. You know, I feel like in summertime, we just eat, 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 and we eat out of boredom, and we eat because we're hot, and we eat because, you know, it's summer, and we can. Um, and I really wanted to not do that this year, and the snack tray has really helped with that. So I don't know if you're just looking for a good idea. I do switch it up, you know. I'll put crackers or grapes or bananas, um, you know, hummus, carrots, uh, sometimes I'll put avocados, you know, just whatever I have on hand. So I hope this just kind of inspires you with a uh, snack time. Okay, another thing that I have been doing every morning, I turn on Amazon Music and I just look for instrumental hymns. And y'all, I feel like it has made the biggest difference for us when it comes to setting that atmosphere. I don't have it turned up too loudly. I'm not sure if you can hear it um, because obviously I don't want it to be a distraction, but it is just helping with attitudes and how we treat one another and just how we approach our subjects. So I don't know if this is something that you do, 
uh, are if this is something you want to try to do to just help but I really do believe the Lord has has used it and I have definitely Amen. seen fruits from it these last two weeks <music> guys thank you for hanging in there this long you all know that I am NOT the best at all when it comes to day in the life videos nor am I the best at voiceover videos but here we are um, I just wanted to pop on and just share with you what my kiddos are watching right now we are going through the my father's world exploring countries and cultures and within the curriculum they suggest even offer their own songs when it comes to memorizing the different continents and even states and other things well because I'm a mom and I don't have all the time in the world this is confession we have just been utilizing different YouTube videos, specifically the hop scotch videos. We have been watching the one um, about the continents, the 50 states, the different oceans, and even the planets. They are free resources. I can pull them up on my TV. And you know the music's not that bad either. So if you're looking for um, just something to incorporate and to help you with transitioning time, I would definitely encourage you to check that out. Right here, you see us outside on a beautiful day. Um, we do science right after lunch, so if we can get outside, we definitely get outside. I normally try to put a blanket on the ground, but um, the ground was just too wet. So we pulled out our camping chairs and we had the best time. I feel like sitting outside for science really does help all of us to focus better. Like I said, we've had lunch, our bellies are full, so we're just trying to regroup. Let's see. All right, so you're showing me the growth rings. Oh yeah, we can see them real good. That's pretty cool, dude. Right. Yes, page forty. Mm -hmm. 